Hey there, Star Wars fam. Today we are going to rank the 10 most attractive female characters in Star Wars. This video is going to span over 4,000 years and take us all across a galaxy far, far away. Starting the list off at number 10 is former Rebel shock trooper turned New Republic Special Forces member Cara Dune. Cara Dune became an ally of Din Djarin in the show The Mandalorian. After defeating Moff Gideon, she took a job as the Marshal of Navarro and has since joined the New Republic military. Coming in at number 9 is the Old Republic era Mira Luka by the name of Visus Mar. Mar was the apprentice to Darth Nihilus and later the unofficial apprentice to Mitra Surik. After the defeats of Darth Nihilus, Darth Sion, and Darth Treya, Mar would be instrumental in helping rebuild the Jedi Order. In at the number 8 spot is the Mandalorian royal herself, Bo-Katan. When younger, Bo-Katan was a member of the terrorist group Death Watch, and even the leader of the subgroup Night Owls. She became the regent of Mandalore, then the Mandalorian resistance leader during the Empire era, and later the leader of the Mandalorian people. Her story still has a lot to tell, and is ongoing. Coming in at the seventh spot is the Dathomirian Knight Sister most of you will be familiar with because of Jedi Fallen Order, and that is Marin. She is a survivor of Grievous's massacre of the Night Sisters during the Clone Wars, and she has since become a member of the Stinger Mantis crew. I'll not go too much into her story to avoid spoilers for Jedi Survivor. Taking the number six spot is the Jedi that brought Ben Solo back from the dark side, Rey. Rey was a scavenger on Jakku and then traveled the stars helping combat the First Order. After the First Order and the resurrected Darth Sidious, which was her grandfather, were destroyed, she set out to rebuild the Jedi Order. So now that we're at the halfway spot, I'd like to remind everyone, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Making it into the top five is the Togruta Jedi, Shock T. Shock T was a general in the Grand Army of the Republic and part of the strike team that was sent to Geonosis. Because of the amount of death she's had in the games, deleted scenes, and more, I like to think she's still out there somewhere trading Padawans. Barely missing the podium in the number four spot is the former Queen of Naboo, Padme. Padme was elected the Queen of Naboo at a young age, and after her reign, she became a galactic senator. While senator, she was married to Anakin Skywalker and conceived the twins Luke and Leia. She died just after giving birth to the twins. And taking home the bronze medal for coming in third is another Togruden, Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano was brought to the Jedi Order by Plo Koon and became the Padawan of Anakin Skywalker. After being framed for the bombing at the Jedi Temple, she left the Jedi Order but still helped the Republic. After Order 66, she went into hiding and helped the Rebellion. She has since been helping destroy the remnants of the Empire. Barely missing the top spot and coming in at number two is the red-skinned Twi'lek Sith, Darth Talon. She was covered in Sith tattoos that were earned during ritual combat. For a short time, she was even the master of Cade Skywalker, a direct descendant of Anakin. After the Sith's leader, Darth Krait, was killed by Cade, the Sith, including Darth Talon, went into hiding. It was originally planned by George Lucas to have Darth Maul and Darth Talon be the villains for the sequel trilogy. And I think it's safe to say that would have been awesome. And in the top spot, it should come as no surprise to anyone. Wait for it. Size Snoodles. Jokes aside, the number one spot is obviously Leia Organa. Leia was born to Padme and Anakin, but was raised by Bail Organa. She was a princess, a general, briefly trained to be a Jedi, and she became a senator. She helped establish the New Republic, and before her death, fought the First Order. She was a smoke show and a hero. So there's my top 10. I'm not saying that it's perfect, but that's my top 10. If you have anybody that you think that I missed, please put them in the comments. I'm not above making another video. Please like and subscribe.